Hello, everybody. This is Claudio for the growth.lat. Today, we're going to be talking about gamification ideas for banking services to engage customers. Today's topics, we're going to talk a little definition of what is gamification, some principles behind it, and some ideas for banking. Okay, the ideas can be used for other things, but uh, our focus here was really banking. Now, some defi the definition of gamification. Gamification means to apply gameplay principles and design elements in a non-game environment. Basically, you take ideas behind games and you put them in situations that are not games. These mechanics can be used to engage your audience, to reduce stress, to boost productivity. There are millions of uses, okay? But the result is to reach a business goal. Here we will discuss how these mechanics can help you influence your client's behavior. Now, some principles behind gamification. You can engage and motivate your audience. You create a challenge. This feeds the feeling of accomplishment that most people crave. It's basically why people play games. You have a challenge, and if you finish the challenge, you get a reward. You can make a boring activity become a fun activity. This is very well received in education because students get bored with just memorizing facts and solving equations all the time. And when people get bored, they lose focus, okay? The same goes for your clients. Subconsciously, people lean towards services, towards activities that are more fun, okay? If you ask people to memorize the presidents of the United States, nobody's gonna do it. But ask people how many Pokemon they can name and you're gonna have a billion geniuses. Why? Because it was fun. Next, it can change people's behaviors, okay? You can help people acquire new skills by rewarding certain behaviors. For example, thinking like this, you can help your customers shape their money saving skills if you reward this activity, if you create a new type of behavior where they will get a reward by doing that. Next, very important too, you can introduce more complex concepts. Some game elements can boost people motivations to acquire knowledge. They can learn, for example, about different types of credit card. As an educational approach, gamification can be used to raise awareness about new or existing services. Now, uh, we're going to give you some ideas, like I said, uh, these are more for banking, but they can be used for different areas too, okay? Let's go. First one, hold contests and give rewards. This is one of the most common techniques to attract new clients. It's simply giving them something of value if they satisfy certain conditions. For example, participating in a referral program. Uh, we have here the example of Payoneer, which offers $25 to both an affiliate and the person who registered via the service link. Okay, the idea is I am a client from Payoneer, I refer a friend, and if he becomes a client too, we both get $25. It's very simple, we, and it's a reward, so people are probably going to do it. The next one is something that people have been doing for a long time, which is to give points for shopping. It may it may seem basic, but people do it because it works, okay? It's easy to find people who have played games like Mario or other games where you collect coins when you complete a quest. So you can take that same idea into, for example, shopping with a card issued by your bank, okay? One of the most simple gamification ideas is earning points, coins, for shopping with, with retailers that your bank is partner with. And then they can later redeem these points for gift cards, for products, for services, Okay, it's very simple. A lot of banks use it and they use it because it works. Next, this is so important and a lot of businesses do it wrong, okay? Keep it simple and easy to win. Remember, the point of gamification here is to make it fun, to make it entertaining, to make it easy to perceive. If the user realizes it is going to be too much work, they will not do it. Going back to the example before, you refer one person, and if they uh, sign up, you both get $25. It's easy. People are going to do it. If I had to refer 10 people to get that reward, I wouldn't do it. Okay, so remember, keep it simple, keep it doable. If it's too much effort, nobody's going to do it. 
Next, very important, incorporate social media. Uh, you can add an option for users to share their accomplishments, to share the contests they are participating in, or any features that they are liking, they are enjoying with their friends and followers. Uh, social media is always a good option these days, okay? You're going to engage your audience and you will also get passive advertising since your customers will be spreading the word for you about your products, about your services. Next up, use gameplay to educate customers. We talked about this in the education uh, area, but think like this. Puzzles, quizzes, short videos, actual games can be used to elaborate or uncover a topic. For example, your customers can earn redeemable points. That's the motivation we talked about earlier for watching an educational video about finance related activities. OK, this is a win win situation. Uh, you will raise the awareness of your client about financial toppings. They can make smarter decisions. They will rely more on your company and they get the points for a little extra motivation. Uh, finally, you can promote new services with gameplay, okay? There are fun ways for clients to learn about your services, your features, aside from just advertising. For example, you can make a short video in which the main character goes through a series of troubles and show that your product can solve that problem. OK, this is a very good idea to promote new services and old services as well. All right. This was Claudio for growth.lat. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Bye bye, guys.